Okay, go ahead. So your theory. A young woman marries an older man. Yeah. He's already established financially uh -huh. and whatever. Yeah. And then she, they, they have the children. Right. He raises, he raises the children. Uh -huh. Then he dies. He dies. Uh -huh. She's still a young woman. Right. So she marries a younger man. Oh, okay. He takes care of her. Yeah. <laughs> That's and then when she dies, he inherits her estate, and it just goes on and on and on. Yeah, that's a good theory, but I wonder if it would work. Sure, it would work. It would work. It would work, but people <laughs> marry young and divorce right away, and they don't, I mean, they're married two or three times, and they have two or three different families. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, man. it's, it's, it, theoretically. Theoretically, it would work. Right. But people just don't follow through. No, because it, hormones <laughs> run rampant when you're young. Oh, man. You know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's a good theory. I like that. You're the first person to tell me that. Well, see there, see there. Yeah, you got some good ideas. <laughs> I lived a long time, honey. Yeah, that's good advice. And I didn't, I, I didn't live a sheltered life, which is very sad. Really? What do you mean? Uh, my folks parted when I was very young. Oh. And, um... So you would prefer to live a sheltered life? No, I don't, I, I'm not unhappy. I'm not oh. unhappy with what... <laughs> the, the only thing about this is, I say, I've had to make decisions. Oh, on your own. On my own. Oh, okay. And, uh, you have to be sure that they're, they're not, um, uh, they won't hurt you. Yeah, okay. Hmm. And so I, I feel, uh, I guess I was about 16 when I went back with my mother. And my mother was a brilliant woman. Yeah. I did learn from her. She didn't teach me anything. Oh, okay. But I, I learned from her. She, she uh, worked hard, worked. And she was, a, she was a, a stenographer. She was in the First World War. What's a stenographer? It's a typist, a stenographer. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she was very good. When she'd take one of the civil service exams, she'd come out top on number one of them. Hmm. She was a very bright woman. Yeah. She went to Cornell. Cornell? Okay, mm -hmm. Cornell. She went to Cornell. Hmm. And from Cornell, she went in the Navy. Because oh, okay. it was World War One. Yeah. And... Uh, when after the war, she was, she befriended a, <clears throat> a southern girl from oh. Savannah or South Georgia. Hmm. So she came to Savannah, uh, Brunswick. They were discharged in Brunswick, oh, yeah. and they went on then to uh, Savannah. Yeah. And then Aunt Bonnie went home with her folks, oh. and Mama got a job with the Central of Georgia Railroad. And her boss there moved to Miami. Yeah. But in the meantime, she married my father. They moved to Miami in 1921 or 22, I guess. I don't remember when. But anyway, they moved to Miami. And hmm. he, uh, she got a job at Jackson Hospital. <clears throat> and uh, I was born here. Yeah, yeah. You were born and raised in Miami. Yeah. Johnny, when she had Johnny, she went back to Savannah because Miami was so primitive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, I had uh, a couple of doctors and that little hospital over there. Of course, that little hospital now is enormous because it's part of the University of Miami. So anyway, that's... Uh, it's history. Yeah.